Uh, what's good y'all boys and this video is going to be about desperate creatures so the required items are none there, there's no combat and it's short so what we got to do is speak to the curator north of the Berthropy lodestone so you already know teleport to Berthropy and the lodestone right and the curator is going to be north of this so let's talk to him talk about desperate creatures Finally, somebody who actually might be of use. You have no idea how long I've been standing trying to get some decent help. What do you need? Saren herself has tasked me with collecting specimens from the island of Anachronia. It is important I get them to her as quickly as possible. So, the quest prompt comes up. And let's go. Accept it. I'll help you. Excellent. Then let's get started. What do I need to do first? We should start with something simple. Basic floor will be a good start. This tome has been enchanted to point to flowers with anomalous anima readings. Four specimens should suffice. So he gives us a tome of tracking. I'll see what I can do. Alright, so let's figure this out. So when you click on the tome... It says it seems to be directing you towards the Western Anachronia. All right, let's see what we gotta. Let's see what that means. So I teleported to the Anachronia Lodestone, which on the map is right here. And when you click on the track tome of tracking, it says next location is 117 paces west. So let's see what's going on. So this is west. And I'll show you the location when I find it. So in this specific location is right here. So you would see Salusan. And right here. So you find a su suitable specimen and store it away. So on the map, it'll look like this. And yeah, in between these two rocks. The, you know, the beanie mush troll or trough. And right here, this is where I had found it. So let's move on to the next one. Track 46 paces north, and I'll show you the location when I find it. So this is the one right here. It's, it's not too far from where we were just at. It's between these two trees. And I'll show you on the map in a second. So I'll find a suitable specimen. And it's right here. So not too much farther. And the Luminous Snaggler is basically south from there. From right here. So let's find the next one. 13 paces northwest. Alright, so I'll find it. And I'll let you guys know. Okay, so here's the next one. It wasn't even that much farther from those two trees. For me, I don't know if it changes for you. But it's fi I found it right here. Found a suitable specimen, and on the map, right here. And let's see where we can find the next one. 19 paces northwest. Alright, I'll let you know when I find it. So, it's over here. And for some reason, Vindicta and Hannibus are here. But it wasn't that much farther from where we had just collected the other ones. And as you go to collect this specimen, you overhear someone talking. So how did you find Aea? Isn't it beautiful? It was quiet, like a well-decorated tome, or tomb. Everyone walking around like corpses, resigned to a fate they're not trying to avert. I had expected more from a mighty, from the mighty dragon riders, a vast and vibrant world, but they all treat it like it's nothing more than a grave. I wouldn't put it like that. We're a spiritual people. We follow the Olandai, and we accept our place in it. The Illajunka are dying. We accept that, and we celebrate the life we had. Dress it up how you like. They all just surrendered to it. A whole world of people refusing to fight to survive. I couldn't just stand there and let them get away with that. What did you do? 
Oh. Don't get that panicked look again. I behaved. I didn't seize the control of the government or anything. I simply spoke to those who would listen. Although they're few in number, the younger Illajunka are a bit more willing to consider other options. I told them about my world. I told them about the strength I can wield as a dragon rider. I have noticed my size. I am bigger and stronger than all of them. And I think that's because I refuse to just let fate decide what happens to me. You told me before that the Ulundai is a tapestry. Well, why just be a thread when he could be a needle going through, be a needle guiding the thread? If destiny has decided we should end, then surely there's no harm in trying to fight. In seeing if there is more to life than wasting away to nothing. So, I invited them here. To them, I could see a, dif a different world. One with stars and full of life. One where they can soar through the sky on the back of dragons. Not everyone was interested, but a few pioneers seemed interested. Apparently my timing was great, because there were other whispers going around. One of the soothsayers had received some sort of vision or visitation. You know, the type of standard doom and gloom nonsense. Something about an encroaching calamity. I wasn't really listening, but it seemed sufficient enough to encourage a few of the junker to consider my consideration or consider my suggestions. When they arrive, I intended to show them what an Illajunka can be, how great it would be. It has been some time since I have trained other dragon riders. Perhaps that time can come again. It would be good to teach my people to fly once more. And perhaps my daughter, you can take some time to listen as, to them as well. Our heritage and culture is a noble one that I would love for you to share with me. If they can prove that the Illajunka are more than just cowards, then I will listen to them. Huh. I, so now we, as we take the final flower, the Tome of Trachum begins to flow, glow a different color. I need to take this back to the curator. Alright, so let's just go back to Bertherpy and let's see what happens. All right, talk about desperate creatures, and let's talk about the pro uh, progress. Excellent. These will be great help. I have another task for you when you're ready. All right, so let's just talk to him again. For the next batch of specimens, we need to look at some larger flora. Four pieces of shrubbery will probably give us the information we are looking for. One of, the, one of the tombs will help you find some good specimens. I'll see what I can do. Alright, let's see. Track. Okay, now we gotta go back to Anachronia. Alright, so from Anachronia Lodestone, all I did was run toward... Like, you know, the skill cape rack. And I found it right here. You find a suitable specimen. And store it away. And on the map, it looks like this. Found it right here. And it's above where the rune store and the, the spa is. So let's find the next one. It's 12 paces south. And I'll let you know when I find it. So for the next one, I had just ran down from where I got the other specimen. And it's in front of the, the spa pool. Alright, now store it away. Let's find the next one. 24 paces south. I'll let you know when I find it. Alright, so for the next one, for me, I had found it right next to the lodestone, right here. And let's find the next one. 33 paces east, I'll let you know when I find it. Alright, so from the lodestone, I had just ran up to Mr. Mordal. And as you reach down to collect the wildlife, Mr. Mordal calls to you. Ah, it's your boy. Good to see you. How are things at Anachronia? Well, there's good and there's bad. Obviously, Carapac's threat has been resolved, so it's nice to be not under attack by dinosaurs anymore. 
On the other hand, the volcanic eruption did substantial damage to the base camp. Given what it caused, or given what caused it, I'm surprised the damage wasn't more extensive. Have you got everything fixed up? Yes. The ruins themselves seem largely impervious, impervious to being struck by flying magma. A few tents got flattened, but no casualties. Still, it doesn't... It doesn't do to focus on the past. We need to look to the future. Don't you think it's time we started serious archaeological... Archaeology archaeological investigation on these ruins wouldn't that be focusing on the past you uh, what yes I suppose so we should focus on the distant past can I start digging now oh no 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 there's lots of work to do first we need to procure matox there there's an incredible amount of paperwork to deal with we've run out of archaeological hats I'm sure you'll hear when we're ready to go. Can you give me a, any hints about what sort of things we might uncover? Well, we don't know. But have you heard of... But have you heard there are four, not two kinds of dragon kin? I'm the world's foremost expert, and I was shocked. I tell you, shocked. Perhaps we can find more about these others. That would certainly be exciting. I look forward to it, for now. I'd best get back to the curator. And I collect the final piece of wildlife. Okay, so let's just go back to Bertha P. Or birth rope, whatever. Let's talk to the curator. Desperate creatures, talk about progress. Excellent. This would be a great help. Another task? Oh boy. Alright. Desperate creep. Talk about it again. Talk about progress. We've been wondering what care packs had on the fungi or the mushrooms. Use one of the tomes to find out the affected mushrooms so we can investigate. I'll see what I can do. Oh, look. A devotion sprite. Oh. So from Anachronia. This is the spot. And I'll show the map in a second. You find a suitable specimen and store it away. So, basically from the lodestone, you can use that teleportation device, go to the Moksha ritual site, and then end up here. This is where I had found it. So let's try to find the next one. 26 paces southeast. I'll let you know when I find it. Alright, so we found the, the other location. You found a suitable specimen. It may be different for you. I don't know. But this is where I had found it. This is the location I have for me. It's not too far from the other location. Now let's try to find the next one. 40 paces west. I'll let you know when I find it. Alright, so we found the next one. You found a suitable specimen. Alright, and this is where I, I had found it. I found it right here. Let's see what the next one is. West. I'll let you know when I find it. Oh shit, is Zeros. What is Zeros doing here? Yeah, what is he doing here? Yeah. To your surprise, the tome appears to be pointing not towards a piece of wildlife, but Zeros himself. What are you doing? Waiting. For what? I, I, I have need of something that will occur in this vicinity. Do you spend much of your time just waiting around? World Guardian, I have spent more time waiting than your species have ex has existed. You lack patience. I do not blame you. If my life span were as minuscule as yours, I too would rush. I have learned patience over the first thousand years of my existence. You know of my origin, do you not? Yes, the Elder God Ma created you and Saren on Freneske. Saren calls her mother, 
but she is wrong to do so. You rejected your own mother? It is not an emotional matter, but a factual one. Ma did not create us to be her children. She did not even create us as servants. We are her toys. Mishappen Fasimiles of the bipedal life that tormented her body and mind. She did not know, care, or possibly even understand that we had thoughts of our own. Perhaps we did not initially. Perhaps we were merely mannequins. She only took us when she wished to play. She contorted and articulated and smashed us and when she was done, she returned us to our cage. But over time, I learned. I developed. In time, I escaped because I was patient. I see. Do you expect what you are waiting for to occur soon? Very soon, yes. I see. I believe you are looking for these. The final mushroom. Is this what the tracker was being drawn towards? Thank you? Huh. Very interesting. Alright, let's see what we gotta do now. Let's go back to Berthropy. Alright, so let's talk back to the curator. Talk about the progress. Another task? Oh, God. All right, talk about progress. Looking for the fauna of the island. Use the tome to gather four insects. All right, I'll see what I can do. All right, let's go. Okay, so for this, I had found it right here. You find a suitable specimen and store it away. So the location I had found that in is from the Lodestone. You would head all the way east past the Rex Matriarchs. And for the Liverworts, you just head south and then a little bit southeast from there. And it'll be right here. All right, so let's find the next one. Northeast. I'll let you know when I find it. All right, so I found the next location for me. Alright, find the specimen, and where I had found it, not too much further from where we, we just were, but for reference, it's right here. Let's find the next one. East, I'll let you know when I find it. Alright, so here it is. It's pretty much directly on the other side. We find it, and for the location, it's right here. And it's next to this dense jungle vines and the overgrown idol. Let's find the next one. Southeast. I'll let you know when I find it. Nah, what is Keros and Thok doing here? Ball paces south. This is in this is mad interesting. Five paces south. As you go collect the last specimen, you over You overhead Thok. I think that's a misspelling. Who seemed to be in the middle of a heated discussion. <laughs> I don't think you've ever seen anyone so utterly fail to lose someone. I mean, what were you thinking? Liverworts? As a bouquet? They, they even sound horrible. And that's ignoring the simple fact that they're murderous flies. Thought... Thought she might like them. Why? In what possible world does that logic make the slightest hint of sense? Well, she's a Slayer Master. Aw, oh, so he into Linnea Kia? Alright, alright, Thok, I see you, cuh. So Thok... So Thok thought she would appreciate something she could slay. Thought it would sh Thought it would show her that Thok knows what a mighty warrior she is, and so she would know what Thok respects her. Hmm. Yes, I can see that. Often I have wooed my paramours with potential murder. 
Did I ever tell you about that lord and lady Vandercrank? Why, I remember wooing them by getting them to plot elaborate murders for one or another. Nothing can rekindle a stale relationship like the passion of creative assassination. Of course, it ended badly, but of them were a bitter, were a better, both of them were a bit better at the game than I anticipated and managed to poison the same trifle they were, they were eating. Two different poisons at one, I think they meant truffle and one trifle. Quite the scandal. It, I had to live as a milkmaid for three weeks to get out of the fury <laughs> that followed that. Maybe Thok should try again with something else. Perhaps enormous fangs of death from one of those great big lizards? Show her that Thok is a mighty warrior equal to her? I think you should leave it, at least for now. Whilst I would love to... Whilst I would love little more than to watch you watch her stab you repeatedly with one of her spears, I think you need to give her a bit of space. For everyone else is terrified of her, so you're in no danger of someone sweeping her off her feet. Do women like that? Like what? You're being literal again, aren't you? No, you great squishy troll of a man. <laughs> women do like being wounded in ritual combat. Well, actually... There are some women, but if you always ask first, never assume. If a woman wants to kick your head in during ritual combat, <laughs> you check first. Honestly, I despair at you. I really do. I would try to spend more time att attempting to resurrect your terrible excuse for a love life. But I was never really that good with necromancy. Nah, so they mentioned this again? Okay, so Chaos is necromancy also. Okay. Too much dirt and crawly things. Ugh. We should get going. I want to make sure my wards are still holding after that whole care pack fiasco. Wards? Things look alright at the moment, but it could all fall apart at any moment, and then... A bunny. <laughs> Thought could get her a bunny. <laughs> what? No. What? Everyone loves bunnies. A war bunny will be both adorable and a mighty warrior. The perfect gift. <laughs> Carol's mad now. <laughs> He's not listening. All I need is some trifle. Trif Trifle? It would all be so easy. No one would blame me. I would be ever doing everyone a service. Bunny! I should probably leave them to it. I collect the lax. Okay. Alright, let's go back to Bertha B. Alright, let's talk to the curator. Desperate creatures. Talk about progress. Another task? Oh, God. What's going on with this? Larger creatures. See if you use the for to find four frogs. All right, I'll see what I can do. All right. I'm assuming we go back to Anachronia. Yep, Central Anachronia. All right, I'll let you know when I find it. All right, so I found it. Found a suitable specimen, and for the location, it's right here by the well, Rex Matriarchs. All right, so let's try to find the next one. Northwest. I'll let you know when I find it. Alright, so not too far from where we were just at. A suitable specimen. This is for me. I don't know if it changes for you. And for me, it was right here. Basically on the opposite side. Alright, so let's find the next one. Southwest. Alright, I'll let you know when I find it. Alright, so I found it. And it's not too far from where I was just at. But another specimen. And yeah, not too far from where we're just at. Let's see the next one. Southeast. I'll let you know when I find it. Nah, it's prehistoric Potterington. What what is she doing here? Six paces east. Yeah, you see a familiar face. Oh hello there. 
What are you doing here? Oh, hello there, dumpling. I'm just uh collecting some fruit. Oh, what a coincidence! I'm here. I'm here collecting frogs for Saren. That's nice. Now I've been. I've never been one down to turn down good company, but if you don't mind, I'm a wee bit busy. Is that it? What do you mean? Is is that it? Do you have any important conversation for me to eavesdrop on? A major message or revelation? Some ominous foreshadowing about the future of Gilinor? <laughs> Why I'm blazing what I do? <laughs> I'm just out here checking out a uh, the fruit. Checking? I thought you said gathering. Gathering fruit. That's what I said. I don't know what you're getting on tissue about, Plume Pud. Anyway, what does a woman have to do with what? What a woman does with produce is in privacy is of a secluded grove is her own darn business. Don't you have some frogs to collect for what's her name, Sarah? <laughs> right, Padre? Nah. Pick up the last fright. All right, let's go back to Bertha P. All right, so let's see what the curator got for us to do now. This is like, like one small favor. Jesus, talk about the progress. It looks like we have all the information we need. Oh, nice. Saren is ready to address the council. You can find them in the Bertha P. Castle. I recommend you don't keep them waiting. Alright, so I'm assuming in here. I'll let you know when I find it. Alright, so yeah. From the curator. All we did was run inside here. And let's see. Let's talk to Saren. Let's see what's going on. Talk about... Lore Hunter. Though the immediate threat has been resolved, I must report that Carapac's device was left operational for a prolonged period of time. So what does that mean? His plan was to poison the world's magic, and through it, every living thing. Though the World Guardian has put a stop to it, enough Shadow Anima was released that we'll likely see its impact. Oh boy. But research by the curator informs me that even a small amount absorbed by growing plant life, it could stunt or damage its growth. The next harvest will be a poor one. I urge you to prepare your people for famine. Please, do what you can to support each other. Taranwin will provide what it can, but our resources are not limitless. Of course, Lady Saren, we will gladly provide assistance if it pleases you. The riches of Menafons are at your disposal. Oh, it's your boy. Please speak to me in private. This is getting worse. I only call the council together rarely, but each time they are more strongly affected by my aura. At least they're cooperating. True. If there's truly a famine, by working together we can save many lives. Maybe I should... No. I'm not my brother. They are not my tools. There is a grave matter to discuss. I have not shared it with the council. What is it? The eggs. The elder eggs. Carapac's plan was to poison them. Did he succeed? No. In some way... In some ways, he has done the opposite. Wait, you know where the elder god eggs are? No, not exactly. I can feel them, though my three cousins what did you mean done the opposite the eggs contain with them the next generation of elder gods from the moment i set my foot on this world ten thousand years ago god damn i have been aware of the distant glare of their life that has changed the rhythm of their being they do not have blood but it helps it can imagine it as if as a pulse has quickened they're hatching no, not yet. Carapac's device was not active long enough to damage them, but it has agitated them. I do not believe that there is an, any immediate danger, which is why I haven't informed the council. 
I cannot be sure, but I believe another disruption has as powerful as the last could wake them. It is good that you stopped the device when you did. Nothing else on Gildenor could s cause such a disruption. But I thought it's best as you were aware. Thanks, I think. I asked the curator to reward your efforts. You should return to him when you are done here. I will. Thank you. Alright, so let's just go back to the curator. And I think this is going to be the end of the quest. Alright, so we'll just climb back down. Let's talk to the curator from right here. Desperate creatures. Thank you for all your help. Your system was invaluable. Saren asks if I had any rare manuscripts that you might find useful. And I have two here that might interest you. Hands you the copy of Colossi and the Time of Colossi. A copy of Reldo's Ages 17th edition. Thanks. Ah, there it is. Alright, I got my completionist. I got my trim combat, baby. Alright, there we go. Nice, nice. Alright, and that's it. Yeah, trim comp, baby. Yeah. All right, there we go. Yeah, let's put it back on for the one good time. Where it's a wardrobe, a bank, hooded, of course. Yeah. <laughs>